a tiny new friend. It had been a week since Cinderella's stepmother had forced her to move out of her room bedroom into the attic of the old house. But Cinderella was still not used to her new sleeping quarters. The only other soul around to keep Cinderella company was a skitch little mouse who she'd seen scurrying in and out of a hole in the corner. One day at supper time, Cinderella slipped a piece of cheese into her apron pocket. That evening, when her work was finished, Cinderella hurried up to her room and pulled out her sewing desk. That she used some scraps of fabric to make mouse sized suit of clothing, a red shirt, and a cap, a tiny orange coat, and two brown slippers. Cinderella carried the clothes over to the mouse hole and knelt before it. She placed it with the clothes in the palm of her hand, then she laid her open hand just in front of the mouse hole. Hello in there, she called. The mouse cautiously poked his head out of the hole and skipped the air. Seeing the cheese, he inched out of the hole and over to Cinderella's hand. He paused and looked up at her. Go ahead, she said kindly. There are gifts just for you. Cinderella scampered onto her palm, picked up the cheese and the clothes, and hurried back into the mouse hole. Cinderella waited patiently for a few minutes, still kneeling in front of the hole, while she called after a short while. Let me see how they look on you. Seemingly, the mouse came out in his new outfit. Cinderella clapped her hands. Perfect, she said. Do you like them? The mouse nodded. Then he jumped as if he had an idea that occurred to him and scurried back into the mouse hole. Cinderella frowned. Had she frightened him? Her worries vanished when she, when the mouse appeared, along with several other mice who followed timidly behind him. More friends, Cinderella cried. She hurried to get her sewing basket to lay to have found the warmth of friendship in the cold attic room. Love you. Night.